right, let's go for another test drive. This is my cell phone and it is mounted directly to the mirror using three hair scrunchies. I wanna to try to make sure that I'm uh, aimed straight. So let me get pointed at the, at everything, try to get level ground too. All right, so it's hard to get level. This is funny, that it would be difficult to get level, right? All right, so this is gonna be a different one. I'm not gonna drive off of the property. I'll give you a little tour of the property, kind of. All right, so this is something I've been working on today, just briefly, in uh, there's a tree here, straight out here, all right. This tree was damaged in Hurricane Irma and it fell down and part of this tree was leaning across the property line on this other tree. Another storm came by and knocked it down and so now it's laying across here and I'll have to be, you know, chopping this tree up. And then this is another piece. I've been slicing it up little by little. And we'll be putting that in the fire pit in the near future. I want to tilt the camera up a little bit to, uh, let me stop, try to keep it even, right? I just want to get less of the hood or trunk of the car or the hood of the car in the shot. All right. So with that, I've been working on the property line over here. Uh, you'll see more of that. You'll see some debris right here. That's from stuff I've been dragging away from the fence line. All right. Matter of fact, let me go around the other side of this tree. Ooh. There's some deep holes around here from armadillos that used to be on a property. There's some mole, mole hills. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to point the truck through the trees. I'm not going to drive through there. But man, I don't know, maybe I will go in there a little bit. All right, so this is part of what I've been doing. I've been cleaning up along the fence line here because all this stuff was a mess from Hurricane Irma. I was just back out of here a little bit. and uh, But you couldn't get through here. All this area right here was all overgrown pretty far. And uh, it was kind of a mess. All under this tree, as a matter of fact. This, all this debris sitting here, we're going to see a big tree limb sitting right here. That's from a recent storm. That's not, you know, every time it rains, every time there's a storm, more stuff falls down. Uh, let me pull up here, spin this around, and there's a tree right here. Uh, it was destroyed in Hurricane Irma. There's another tree, let me back up a little bit. That's right to the right of this one, there it is. There's a tree stump for it there, and that came down to Hurricane Irma. That was already cut down. This one here, this is actually the, the uh, roots of this tree that fell down. You know? So it's kind of a mess. And then uh, there are four trees coming up here. Talked about them before in a previous video. But there are four trees here. You see them right there. Uh, I cut those down onto the property. They were tall, but they were damaged by Hurricane uh, Irma. So they had to come down. And um, let me just spin the truck around again show you something else I was working on here with the tractor and it's this fence line in general so you know you look along this fence line here in general and it's cleaned up quite a bit because all this debris came all the way out you know a lot of debris and material and stuff came all the way out to here that's a good 20 25 maybe 30 feet at, at one point over there about 30 feet out that was just a mess so I've been, it's been the whole time we've been in the property in early 2018, I've been working on that. All right, so let's go over here now. And uh, normally in the front, when we're going out through the front, you see this is all, you know, kind of overgrown and stuff. But I took the tractor out here yesterday and cleaned all this up from corner to corner here. This is back into the property here. And over this way here, I cleaned this up quite a bit too. You'll see, still see some overgrowth there, but 
you really can't get the tractor in there. I get my Toro mower in there, but I can't get the tractor in there. And then some more tree debris has been falling down along the fence line. But, you know, for the most part, I mean, you know, once I got this area reclaimed, I cut down a couple of trees here. As a matter of fact, here's a tree right here. It almost fell into the street. Uh, but I got lucky on this particular tree right here, and I was able to uh, get it to do a slow motion fall onto the property as opposed to into the street. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Anyway, so let's keep going here. Uh, basically, again, this is all the fence line. The fence line is what we're working on. People put their trash cans there. I have no problem with that because people live pretty far away. It takes us 300 feet to take our trash cans out to the street. So these people have to go that much further. So I absolutely positively agree with them putting their garbage cans there and like leaving them there. Some of them leave them there. And other people come down and pick up their cans and bring them back to their house. I don't care which way they do it. It's a very long distance for somebody to take their trash. Uh, so what we're looking at here is the fence line. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to come out this gate in a few minutes. I'm going to drive over here. Now, again, the, one of the things I want to show you here is there's no fences. You know, this used to be the road to nowhere. We're about to go over where there used to be a double line of fences right here. Right here was the road to nowhere. And it was overgrown and you couldn't see where it went. It went nowhere. Uh, but let's drive across here. This used to be double fences right here. Uh, I took down all the interior fencing in a property. And, um, you know, and uh, our neighbors have some goats over to that direction, to the that way. <laughs> our neighbors have goats. They come out and they keep the fence line pretty clean. Um, there is a device right up here in a uh, short distance here. That is actually a device that was made to open up the gate. That's a, a remote gate opener. So it's kind of battery, it's gonna have battery power or something to it, or I don't know, something. And then this, there's a gate over there, uh, which we call the apartment gate. And this device was meant to open that gate. Um, so, you know, that's gonna be disassembled, disassembled and parted out somehow. And then uh, the apartment used to be right here. We had it removed along with some other things on the property. And of course I turn to the left and you'll see the barn. All right, and I've been working uh, behind the barn, alongside the barn, directly behind it, and then a field that's behind that, all right? And then um, the field, the overgrown, the formerly overgrown field is over here to the left. And you'll see that pile of debris over there, all right? And uh, I'll pull the truck up to the fence line here. And let me tilt the camera down a little bit. Maybe we'll get some better, uh, anyways. Over here, there's that big pile of debris. That's all the stuff I've scraped it up from around this field to get this field flatter. And uh, I scraped that up to put it there so I could, um, so I can start working on getting this field flat, flatter. It's nowhere near where I need it to be, but I'll keep working on it and I will get it there. Uh, this field is the muddy field that we're driving around in here. And that's uh, my neighbor's property on the other side of the fence. Uh, there were some thickets and they're trying to grow back here too. These dark green things that you see sticking up here and there, those are thickets trying to come back. They will not, I will keep them nice and short. As a matter of fact, I'll be going around here in the very near future, cleaning things up so I can get the Toro out here and uh, work on this field, on all the fields actually. So let's go back over this way. There was a field that goes kind of behind the barn over there. All right. Again, the cell phone is mounted to the rear view mirror with hair scrunchies. Thank you, Miss Kathy, for that idea. Uh, let's see here. And I think this is the best mount. Um, the only issue was heat. My cell phone sometimes gets warm. Here's the barn. Let me go spin around and show you back here. This is that area I've been working on behind the barn. Now, I took down a fence. We're leaving some of these fences up because wild hogs come in from back that way. Um, they come into the property and tear the place up. Um, but I've been working with the, the box blade to clean up this and make this nice and soft, uh, nice and flat. And I've been, because I took down this fence that was right here for the paddock, because we don't have horses, we don't need a paddock, um, I went ahead and, um, and took that fence out so I can get in there and clean this, keep this maintained, so I can maintain that part of the field. All right, so. Uh, underneath this tree right here is kind of a mess because the storms come by, they drop limbs and stuff. And, I, you know, it's not really growing season, so I haven't been uh, 
mowing the lawn. I actually have been a couple of months without mowing the lawn, so it's been sort of kind of nice because we're out here constantly cutting the grass. <laughs> it's not a bit of big lawn out here. Let me fix this camera a little bit. Nah, that's good. All right, so again, along the fence lines is what I try to clean up. There's a lot of weeds on this particular fence. And again, we got to keep this fence, keep the hogs out. But this had a whole lot of weeds on it. I've been play, uh, spraying that with salt water, killing off the weeds, getting them back a bit. And then I will be able to come in here and uh, pull these weeds down off of this fence. And then I'll be able to keep that fence nice and clean. Now these trees are growing over here. These are off of our property. They're on a the property next door and uh, they're hanging over this field. So as a, a limbs die and break and fall down like you're gonna see over here, then I clean those up and uh, I'll just keep that so I can get back to the fence. I got a lot of more work to do over here, but there's different pieces of things that I, you know, different projects that I get to work on to keep getting this place continually, you know, work on it to get it nice and neat and look like a county park or better than a county park. <laughs> All right, so let's go back here. This is behind the house. That's our, uh, that's our water treatment facility right there. And uh, let's go back here by these, there's a couple of fruit trees that the lady before us had planted. Uh, I will be removing those, just not yet, no need to, just yet. Um, but this area here, you've seen in a couple of my videos, this is the back fence line, that's looking across the fence line to the neighbor's property. And um, they have horses back there that we like to see. We like to be able to see the horses. But um, the area I'm trying to show you is actually a little bit in the distance. There's some growth right back there. And that growth was actually coming out pretty far. And there's that little tiny forest right here. As a matter of fact, there was a little tiny forest going there. There's a couple of uh, tree stumps that I have to dig out. I actually have to go in there with the chainsaw and cut them right out of the ground because I didn't cut them low enough. And they're too, too strong for the mower to destroy them. And they're, they're kind of root systems or a mess. I have to dig them out a little bit and then chainsaw them off and then just keep them from growing. But this is that other area. All this uh, brown area here, that little forest was grown all the way out to here. I've mulched it all up. And then where I can, I tear stuff out and I pull it out and then I mulch it up out here as well. This is a viney mess right here. Um, I got a lot of cleaning to do, and eventually when I get this done, all you'll see is that tree. There's a tree that, that you'll see right there, and that's it. And all this stuff will all be cleaned up along the fence line, so we can maybe see the horses walking around on the neighbor's property. That's kind of what we're looking to do back there. And then, uh, of course, I will continue to clean off that area over here. And then, little by little, I will keep cleaning up this dead tree and try to get those vines off. I guess got to make sure that the vines don't start growing again, because it'll be a big green sea monster again this tree on the left over here is kind of dead all right so this is horse field again now let me go back in the corner of horse field and kind of point us towards the front of the property a bit all right so we can set up a couple of baseball fields here if we wanted to and i think from here we might have a good distance out to that there's a out here by the trees, there's a light pole out there. Um, but I think, uh, if we had, and there's a light, light pole over to the side too. And there's another light pole off the side. If we put enough light poles out here, we could have a night game. If you could deal with the mosquitoes <laughs> in February. All right, so we got a pretty good line all the way out there to the corner of the property. And it's a pretty good distance. And it's all nice and relatively flat. Here's a lot of mole hole activity. <laughs> Uh, I don't have a problem with the moles. I actually like them. Um, they're not the cutest animals in the world, but you know they're not. You know they're, they they keep circulating the soil and aerating the soil, so that's actually a good thing. Um, this is over here. This is the former shady field, and while I'm driving around here, what you notice is a lack of fencing. Um, this right here, there used to be a double fence here too, because this is a fence around uh, around horse field and shady field back there, and uh, we removed that. Matter of fact, let's go down the old uh, barn road, right? And you see there's some growth picking up around the trees here. Again, it hasn't been growing season, so weird things that will grow do grow, but I'll be cleaning all this up in the next few days with the lawn bar. But it's, I guess gotta pick up the sticks. There's sticks that fall down from the trees. I just gotta pick those up. And once I get those all picked up, um, they'll be easy to you know maintain. You know, it's easier to maintain. It's easy to maintain now, you know, even the way you get these weird things growing up and stuff, they'll come down. 
Now, what I want to point out here is, I'll point to it, right over there, I'm sorry, is a, that's just like a concrete slab. I think there used to be a doghouse on that. We looked at some three-dimensional Google Earth images, and my wife and I can pretty much mostly consider that that is probably where a doghouse used to be. But this was all fenced in, too. This was what we used to call pen. Uh, but we had to get rid of the fencing on that. And well, actually wanted to get rid of the fencing on the entire property so that we could maintain that and get in there and clean it up and stuff like that. Because it's real hard to get the big lawnmower in there to clean things up. All right. And then, and that's it. And then this, this is the, uh, what I used to call the front fields. And let's go out the front field fence. And basically, I want to look at the outside of the fence line going out. Uh, we live on a dirt road. Um, but look at the fence line on the left. That's our fence line. And I took the mower through there uh, with the heavy-duty lawnmower attached to it, uh, the brush mower. And I've been cleaning that up and all the way out into the distance here. So we'll drive down here. And just show you where I was uh, just hacking away at this stuff. I need to trim this tree down here, too, uh, in case somebody needs to drive on the swale because of if it gets too muddy and wet back here. And here, so I've been drive. I was driving them over. All of this was very well overgrown over here. All of this, and then we go around that other side of that tree. Of course, the tree, and there's a uh, hole in the ground. There's a culvert underneath the ground out here, and uh, so I can't do much with that. But I will get rid of this undergrowth over here, so that our neighbor, when they're coming up the the road here, they can see uh, through to their property. Oh, look, there's some trash on the road. Nice. <laughs> Who comes down here? All right, so this side over here on the left, and then back in behind this tree, like back towards us, back this way. I cleaned up all in that with the tractor just the other day. There's some little uh, palm frond stuff I got to mulch up. And that's pretty much it right there. All right, so let's go ahead and do a U-turn in the neighbor's area down here. Oh, I can show you one more thing. There's the road that goes on down there. That road, you can see through there a little bit. I don't know, if you look down there, you can actually see through the road down there, but you can't get through there. There's a big hole in the ground. It's got, you know, super duper big bricks and stuff in it, and you really just can't get down there. As a matter of fact, I sent my tractor in for service, and the guy, the delivery guy that was bringing back my tractor got stuck back there. His GPS sent him back that way, and that's a mistake. Because there's like, oh, it's got to be a six foot deep hole back there. And there's just no way you're going to get anything through there. I mean, the four wheel drive vehicles that go in there, the little tiny, you know, ATV things that go through there. It's crazy. I can't believe they do it. I wouldn't do it. Anyways, again, on the right is our property. And uh, this is the dirt road that we live off of. Our neighbor takes care of this the guy on the left right here. He pretty much takes care of, well, certainly down to his property. But, um, you know, he has the access to this road right here. And it's a bumpy road. Let's take this down and go back in the front entrance. But I, I have to maintain this stuff on the right. But our one, our neighbor has goats. Our one neighbor has goats. The goats come out here and clean off the fence line really nice. And this is a, you know, this whole video is a test of the camera mounted to the uh, rear view mirror, by the way. Just in case, you know, thanks for hanging out this long. Appreciate it. Um, let's go out here. Oh, looks like we're getting our mail. All right, go out onto the main road, and then we will uh, turn right into the property. We like these trees going over the roadway. Get <laughs> a tree in the middle of the road. All right, so back in the front entrance, and there's our house. Now I mentioned this before. We're going to go through these two posts sticking up out of the ground. I hope nobody ever whacks these things. There's a, the pole, the pole, the wooden pole on the left, it has electricity going to it. And that little thing on the right is our cable. Now we don't have cable TV, but we do have cable internet. So there you have it. All right, so that's, uh, that's it. What I'm gonna do now is back the truck into the driveway, into the garage. Let's see how that works. Right, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the property during this experimental video. And uh, you know, drop me a thumbs up, like this video, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know. Let me know that you stopped by to say hi. And uh, by all means, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. I greatly appreciate that, as we all do. 
And until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.